Destroy five goos and protect the corporate tower. Pinnacle tower is under attack. My analysis processor is unable to identify the species of Vec threatening us. Caution is advised. Right, yeah, that's like the weird goo boss here. Either way, this one's going to have to fall. Large goo is massive. He's the hive leader. Attempt to squish the adjacent tile. I'm guessing when he takes three damage, he splits and becomes two smaller ones. That's my guess. Very common goo trope, you know. I think I actually want both of my mechs here, and then like this is what we want to do. Because there's really nothing over here. They're not really going to ever walk this way, I don't think. Okay, this is not too bad, I think. Because I can walk through enemy units, I can do this. I'll take one point, though, there. I can come here. I actually deal one damage. And kill. Seems strong. Then move here and blast the Hornet. He would die. Then I could deal one damage to the goo. Is this better than this? I don't think so. That mountain is kind of helping me a little bit right now. I'm thinking I don't want to actually deal damage to it. Okay. Not bad. I think that worked. He moves as a part of his attack. Okay. Oh, your luck has not run out. Don't you worry about it. Okay, so when I shoot this, he'll get displaced and die. And I'm assuming he will turn into something else. I can then move down and forward. Fire here, which will displace, although he'll hit he'll, then he'll hit the corporate tower. I can fire here, push him back one, and he'll he'll hit the mountain instead. Do I accept some acid? No matter which way I push him. Okay, well, maybe not. Okay, yeah, because even if I push him here, he'll fire back and hit this one. But he does two damage, so I would be trading one grid defense up here. Or I... Before I move here, hit him back, he blocks a spawn, and I take acid. The only problem with that is that then that puts him one hit away from death. But maybe that's okay, because nothing out here roots right now. I want to stay here in case I need to move. But I think that's my that's my play. Goodness. Okay. Oh, and I can't move there. Which kind of messes my plan up. Let's actually reset that turn.
everything is safe. I don't know what the arrow means. I'm not sure, but they only have two HP now, so I'm guessing when they die, they'll split down into one, etc., etc. All right. Well, I've been acided, but we blocked a spawn. Three alphas, though. Man, so many targets. And that, oh man, this is bad. I'm gonna have to sacrifice something. These guys do four damage. I feel like hitting him is good. Straight up kills. You can move back one. Fire here. Push him down. Well, he would just die. And then, how do I move you? Do this. But then he gets rolled over by the goo and dies. Oh, and this... Okay, he's firing there. Hmm. And being so close is bad for me. Instead, I come here. Punch you that direction. I don't like that just because it starts to compound enemies. I need to kind of thin these out if I can. I don't think I'm gonna get to, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill five goose. I don't see that happening. I feel like I have to knock him down and I have to sacrifice these two points over here. This strike is so much worse because it hits the tower. I think this is what I do. So I'm sacrificing two grid power. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there was anything I could have done either. Man. Rough. But it's the last turn. I have one, two, three things being targeted. As long as I move, I don't really have to think about the next turn too much. But he's handled. He would be handled with the melee. He would be handled. He would die.
Okay, I don't know how to handle this guy. Okay, that actually works. Ordering, so he'll die before he attacks, Meh, which is upsetting. Fine. Best of the best. Hey, we all leveled up to the max. Very cool. All right. Well, we've won island number three. That clearly did not go as well for us as islands one or two. I will assign a drone force to tail and scan the new VEC. We must obtain more data to properly oh, combat it. VEC move, plus one. Nice. Let's spend the rep. Launch a rock at a tile, pushing adjacent enemies. Deals two damage, though. I would actually power this over my other one. So that's a very strong possibility. I would actually sell Artemis Artillery, because it still pushes. I would lose the ability to use it on buildings, for sure, but I haven't been doing that very much. Deploy a pull tank that can pull targets with a projectile. Takes two to, 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 to use wind torrent. Push all units a single direction. All mechs gain one HP. I think that's what I do. Do we do this? Do we do a three damage rock accelerator? I think we do. That's what I should have done. There we go. So now we're actually all doing decent damage. Two damage, two, and three. A three damage rock accelerator. I love it. Still pushes. All right. Achievement, sustainable energy. I don't finish three corporate islands without losing, going below four. Oh, wow. By completing three islands, you've unlocked Detrius Disposal, or Detrius Disposal. In future games, you'll be able to unlock... Visit unlocked items in any order. I'm guessing even though the last two items have been harder, or islands have been harder, it's because that I'm visiting them later. I'm not sure. Detrius Tech can break down any matter into its base elements. Their factory cities are devoted to waste removal and recycling. I have heard of your triumphs against the Vec, Commander. We hope you and your Riftwalkers can aid us in the fight, in our fight as well. Ooh. Don't think I'm ever doing that one. Protect emergency batteries. Take less than three grid damage. Protect the coal plant. Normally, we use conveyor yar yards, conveyor yards to ferry waste vats. But you and the Riftwalkers may be able to use the conveyors against the Vec. Sure. Alpha Firefly. One ranged attack. Three damage. Alpha Scorpion. This guy actually does root. So that's bad. A burrower. Back will hide underground after taking one or more damage. Cannot be moved, pushed. Back to Carapace slam against three tiles in a row. Okay. So what, they take a damage and then... So they... Oh, so they... When they burrow, do they stop attacking, though? Do they do their attack still if they burrow?
Jeez. Okay. So. You can push. And move down the belt. Well, I'll move. Uh, when does the belt go? Belt moves first. Interesting. So he actually won't hit at all. I can ignore him for now. Let's run a test. And do I want to sacrifice a point to run it? Well, either way, I kind of have to, right? Ah, three tiles in a row is so tough. I kind of for sure want to do this because it'll block a spawn. I'll go down to 2 HP. I could actually kill him. Okay, so this is maybe kind of going to determine. It does stop their attacks. Wow, okay, good to know. I think that did it. Now, do they pop back up? They do. They do. Okay. That's fine. They heal at the start of their turn. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So if I do this, this will... Why won't that push? It only pushes, like, sideways. Not at all what I was expecting. Well, it's kind of stuck. He would die. Then I could come over and hit him. But then I would take three. Yeah. I think I just have to accept, let him take some damage. He's got three health. So it's it's okay if he does. Get here. He'll die. Get here, he'll die. This guy will actually not... Oh, he'll actually regen one health there. I have three things injured. I think this is better. This will kill three things? And then we'll have three to deal with next turn. And he'll take some damage. Which is not good. I, I really like throwing giant rocks. Something very satisfying about throwing giant rocks. Alright, well that's bad. Oh, one of these guys. This is really good. He just killed himself. The scorpion is dead. I don't have to bother with him at all. A 
alpha beetle. Gotcha. The conveyor is going to move first. They regenerate. The environment moves. So he's dead. I can ignore him. I could do that, but that would actually put a rock on the conveyor. Well, this is fine. XP doesn't matter at this point. Easy enough. Can't kill them both. I could kill one of them. Let's forget that that happened. There we go. And then actually he is going to die. <laughs> He's going to charge himself into the water. Bye bye. Cool. Worked out very well. Well done, Rift Walkers. Good news is rare these days, but your efforts here have changed that. Destroy the acid vats. Kill four enemies inflicted with acid. Kill seven enemies. Not doing that. A vac hive lies directly beneath the waste disposal tanks in this region. Detonate the vats and the chemical runoff will destroy the hive. They only have two health. Not bad. A beetle. Firefly. Scarab. And a scorpion. Alpha scorpion. Another pod. I don't know what the chances are that pods come down. I don't know if it's just random or what. Alright. So... For sure there. Sure, there. None of these are great. I can do, nope. I can do this. That worked out well. I really like the levels with water. Because the water makes a lot of decisions very easy. You can't do anything. Can't charge, right? Nice. I cannot move him. Oh. Okay. So rock smash, knock into water, block a spawn, destroy this. Only four things to deal with next turn.
Okay, we got a um, health regen bot, however. Hey, there you are. Welcome back. Okay, again, I think we have a very easy turn here. I think this level basically rolled very well for us. All this water surrounding their spots allowed me to kill at least half of these guys by knocking them in the water. Very nice. Very nice. 100% of the vats were destroyed and the chemicals released. Our sensors are already picking up diminished vac activity in the region. Acid projector science class weapon. Fire a projectile that applies acid and pushes. Okay, well we don't have a science class mech. Where would one extra... One move, I suppose. Very good here. 